Hey there guys, welcome to another train simulator video. Uh, we're going to be looking at the diesel workshop Baldwin AS616 again today. Now, if you weren't aware, uh, there's been a bit of a controversy, uh, if anything, uh, over this pack as of late. And I did a video on it initially, which I will link below. Uh, and I implore you to go watch that if you don't know anything about the locomotive. Because uh, I'm not going to cover a lot of the stuff I covered in that initial video. Uh, and you'll see why in just a moment. But I'll link that below, as I said, if you're not aware of this thing. Uh, anyway, it's from Diesel Workshop, the group that brought us all the Alco RS3s. Uh, and they recently released this, and upon looking at their manual, they noted uh, Central Jersey Rail Fan, the creator of some of the awesome sound packs, uh, namely the 567 series pack. Uh, well, anyway, they noted his name as using uh, some of the sounds for this pack. Well, I saw that, and I thought it was well and great, and I ended up speaking with him later on, and come to find out he knew nothing about it. Uh, now his sounds were freeware sounds and they weren't meant for payware sounds and he did have uh, a, a sort of written agreement as far as using the sounds but I guess there was a technical gray area and that was Diesel Workshop's uh, reasoning for using the sounds but they have since removed his sounds and replaced them with an update now as far as I'm concerned, the, the new sounds, if you purchase this thing now, it should have these new sounds, which is what we're going to cover here today. Nothing else, really. Uh, but I got them uh, as a, a notice from them that was emailed to me uh, saying, hey, you know, update your locomotive with these sounds, etc., etc. So that's what I have done. These are the new sounds. Uh, they got rid of the interior sounds, which were from CJR. Uh, so they're different interior sounds. They changed the bell, which was uh, from this other fella in the community. Um, and then apparently the sounds themselves, the prime mover sounds and all that, were quite very possibly from a company called uh, what, ESU or Loke Sound. Uh, possibly. Allegedly. I don't want to say yes for sure one way or the other because I don't know. I don't have proof. Yes, they sound similar. You know, but I'm no attorney, I'm no legal person. But they seem fairly similar. So anyway, we're just going to be listening to the new sounds, because uh, they have changed everything, and they have completely removed the RS3s off of their website. So this is the only thing currently on their website uh, as of right now. They may put them back on uh, with new sounds, we'll see. But uh, we're just going to find out what's different. Again... If you don't know what the hell's going on, I'll link the original video below and you can kind of see uh, my reaction to the thing, which was fairly good, you know, because I, I guess I had blinders on. I didn't know about this whole thing when I made the video and it was mere minutes after I would made and released the original video that I found out, oh dear God, you know, what, what has happened. But uh, anyway, we're going to check out the new sound. So right now, you can hear the idle sounds. They don't sound terrible. Um, check the horn out. It's still a very good horn. They didn't change that at all. Now, is is that horn original? I, I honestly don't know. I don't know where it came from. It sounds good, though. The bell. The bell has been changed. Uh, I think the original bell was uh, from a fella called NJT6050 or 5060 or something like that. I'm sorry if I got the name backwards. Uh, so that has been changed as well. The horn is the same. Uh, the run sounds is what we'll try and pay attention to here. We'll try the brakes. can barely hear them. They sound like that very, very old train simulator brakes. Although I I don't think that brake sound has changed. I think that's what they originally used. Uh, anyway. So, Will, let me throw it neutral here. Alright, so we're in idle. And that's the first notch. You hear how instantaneous 
that switch is from idle to the first notch. And then back down. <laughs> so there's no graduation of the sound. Uh, they certainly were not as good as the original sounds on this pack, which very most likely may or may not have been, I'll put it nicely, uh, borrowed from another entity. So notch 12 again, or notch 12, notch 1. <laughs> notch 12. I'm sure there's some locomotive on the planet with 12 notches. 12%. That's that's my error on the HUD. Notch 2. Three. <laughs> that's really bad. I'm sorry, that is not good. Four. You know, it's it's not that the sounds are terrible. I get it. It's hard to get sounds from these things. In this day and age, I totally get it. It's, it's the way they were hurriedly implemented as a sort of damage control, if you will, is what it seems like to me. Um, there is no transition... Uh, between the notches and the amperage, the RPMs, nothing. Next notch. Pretty much no change. Next notch. Uh, this is seven here we're going to. And eight. All right, so nothing happened. And then that's back, back down to zero. <laughs> Man, these sounds are not good. And. The purpose of this video isn't to dump on the recent events uh, that may or may not have... Well, let's be honest, they did transpire, but as far as exact legality things, I'm not even going to try to comment to that. Uh, because this is still a great, great model. And again, if you want to see more on the model itself for the fifth time, I will link the other video I did down below, which will cover that a bit well. Uh, or a bit better than this one anyway, but one of the things in the updated pack um, that they pushed out uh, was something about the textures uh, being updated, and I can't tell what uh, was updated, really. I mean, the thing looks pretty damn good. I mean, let's be honest, this thing looks good, but the, uh, the egregious acts as seen by the train sim community as of late uh, has pretty much made this thing null and void. And that is a shame. That is a very, very big shame because they were one of the very, very few, uh, you know, train sim content creators, uh, payware content creators that made nice North American stuff. And now, you know, pretty much everybody under the sun that's into North American uh, stuff like this kind of knows what happened. Um, and it doesn't look so good. It's it, it casts a, a very shabby light uh, over things, and it's it's a damn shame because the modeling. This guy, uh, Martins, he these models look fantastic, and he he's worked with a number of uh, people in the community on on getting little nuance uh, correct with these with these loco bodies and the paints and things like that. So it just it blows my mind that he didn't at least try to reach out to CJR to be like, hey, do you mind if I use the sounds or, or, or maybe fix them in a way to where they can be used? Uh, maybe give a percentage of the proceeds, you know, something. But I guess I guess that wasn't attempted. And uh, they just put CJR's name in the manual as if he helped uh, 
you know, of free will, and that's what I initially thought, so that made me feel and look like a dumbass, and that kind of pissed me off, because, uh, you know, I feel like I got the wool pulled over me, you know, so it was just, uh, it was a bit of a shame, so they have since, uh, removed all their Alco RS3s, and they used to have a couple of my videos on the bottom of the page of the said Alco RS3s, which was very nice on, you know, their behalf, I guess, uh, but they have since removed those as well, so... Rest in peace, Alco RS3 videos. But we'll go ahead and hop in this thing and go down the line, see what it sounds like interior-wise. So it still looks really, really good in here, and that's that's what I'm not even mad. I'm honestly not even mad. Like, and and to get emotional, I don't want to say emotional, but to get emotional over something for a train simulator game, you know, I did. You know, I I. I was just disappointed, it, you know, most of all, and uh, it's it's just a damn shame, it really is, that uh, things transpired the way they did, I just, I cannot believe it, but anyway, I'll, I'll shut up whining about it, and uh, we'll see what it sounds like, so, the sounds interior-wise are what was supposed to have been changed that were a lot of CJR sounds. Now, the brake sounds and the air pipe sounds, those are the same sounds from the Alco RS3, if I'm not mistaken, but who's to say that those aren't, we'll say, borrowed, and I'm doing air quotes, you cannot see, you know, sounds also. I mean, there's no telling now. I, it, you know, fool me once, that whole thing. Um, so yeah, the, the interior sounds have been changed a bit, and... You know what I didn't do? I didn't shut the thing down. We'll see what it sounds like turning off and turning back on here. And then back on. They're honestly not that bad. They they are still a little flat. They lack that depth, you know, that uh, that tickle in your tiny little minuscule ear hairs that you know some companies like Searchlight Simulations or Smokebox can do. Um, but they're not horrible. Now they're not as good as the original sounds, but the original sounds are no longer with us, sadly. So let's see what it sounds like going down the line here. Yes, I'm going to speed. This is for testing purposes only. We are a, a test pilot. Let's see what the horn sounds like inside. Still the same bell. Yep, that has definitely been changed. All right, we'll give it one notch. We have a fairly heavy consist here behind us because, as always, I like to use the uh, jointed rail searchlight simulations rolling stock when at all possible. Because they just feel good. Feel real good. So that's one notch. Second notch. See, you can already hear the traction motor sound, that traction motor whine. And we're doing 0.5 mile an hour. Probably gonna get wheel slip here, but next notch. Now the traction motor sounds are very prominent. Next notch. I mean, physics-wise, this thing still feels pretty good. And it's... God, I can't... It's still a damn shame. It is a damn shame about this thing. 
these were decent products and and for this to come to light and again i'm i'm not 1000 percent accusing anyone of anything because i don't have any proof i'm not a legal person none of that i'm just seat of my pants here and and what has transpired uh you know since this thing has released and uh i've talked to quite a few people regarding it that that have had sounds that were again air quotes borrowed without consent um it's a it's a damn shame it really is give it another notch So the sound really changes there. It sounds very weird. So anyway, the reasoning behind the possible removal of the Alco RS3s from them are, again, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this just like this thing, the Baldwin AS616 are from ESU or Lope Sound. Uh, allegedly. And I'm saying allegedly, you know, don't, don't come at me with a pitchfork. Oh, I know they are. You know, I, again, I'm, this is not a legal setting. I'm not a legal person. I'm not going to get into that. So I'm going to say allegedly. Seven. The traction motors just overpower any and every other sound. You can barely hear the exhaust. The note doesn't seem to change. Give it a final notch. And again, nothing. It's just pretty damn silent, sadly. So these are the new sounds. Uh, with the Diesel Walk Workshop Baldwin AS616. I don't know if you were to go and buy this now and you did not have it prior, if the allegedly pirated sounds, air quotes again, um, would come with this. And I just noticed this weird thing. Look at this here. The head out view. That's funky. It's like a see-through texture or 3D object. That's weird as hell. But I really am. I'm just just disappointed, you know. I'm sad about it. Uh, you know, we we had another developer that was making some decent North American content, um, and it just uh, you know, it's just for all this to come to light uh, in the way that it did, and, and things that have transpired. It just uh, it's a damn shame. And, uh, I don't really know what else to say about it. I, I don't know what else, you know, to think. It's, you know, it's out there. It's, it's all out there. Um, you know, who knows what will happen to them? Who knows what will happen to their products? Uh, I just, I don't know. It's a shame. So, uh. Yeah, these are the updated sounds for the Baldwin AS616. I'll link the other video down below if you'd like to see my uh, unadulterated kid on Christmas morning um, reaction to the thing before I knew what was really going on with it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. On this final sad and somber note, I wish you... A good day. I'll see you next time, guys. Take care. Bye.